What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 51 and we're starting today's some stuff on the back of our big episode number 50. Thank you for the love on the special 30 minute thank you episode. We'll look at our fixtures for February. All four games coming today. Wolves and West Ham at home. Spurs away. We've struggled this season in the save and here it is the draw for the first round of the knockout stages in the Champions League. It's AC Milan away at the San Siro, the first leg that will be coming the third game of today's episode as well. Isn't it great to see Milan back in the big time and doing well? Obviously last year, Serie A champions. This year, yes, in Chelsea's group, uh, you know, obviously uh, lost to them back to back, didn't they, I think? But um, yeah, now to, to see them, you know, qualify for the knockout stage of the Champions League, there was a big period of uncertainty for many, many years, you know, for AC Milan. But now they're, they're starting to look like a real force once again and we'll see if they can get back to the old days of the mid noughties when they really were a force to be reckoned with so first game of today's episode on the back of the special thank you episode number 50 we take on Wolves right now three points clear at the top of the table after a fantastic winning run 10 games in a row in all competitions best run of form of the season so far the question is could we keep it going well I've talked about it before consistency is the name of the game if you want to be successful and win a league title 38 games in a season them you've got to be consistent so heading to the first game of February did no business on deadline day whatsoever we had a chance to sell Reese Oxford Taiwo Nico Williams but no we kept our squad together because right now we are rolling and taking on Wolves here perfect start tuning up in the first half and it was our main two this season getting the goals as well shock horror Ivan Tony and Curtis Jones these dudes this season have been unbelievable Wolves to their credit though did have a couple of good chances uh, hit the post later on in the first half and get a goal back with seven and a half minutes to go as well so I was a little bit worried here uh, he channeled the goal making it 2-1 I was thinking you know I've thrown away quite a lot of points from leading positions late on not just this season but throughout the course of FIFA 23 but one thing I do notice as well is that I swear scoring goals from kickoffs are actually quite simple I don't know if it's just me, maybe it is just me, but uh, yeah, five minutes to go directly from kickoff. Rodri chips it in and Ivan Tony bags his brace, rounding the last man and finding the back of the net. Yeah, I feel like when when you can see the goal, like scoring directly from kickoff, and I've you know I've also scored from you know kickoffs in the in the first and also second half as well. I do find them quite simple. I I, I don't know what it is. You know, maybe it, maybe it's just a mental thing. I don't know, but I, I do find it quite simple to you know if I can see the goal, get one back instantly. I don't know whether it's just me, whether you guys have the same experience, but yeah, kickoff goals do seem quite common in in this year's FIFA. Thankfully, it's nowhere near like it used to be back in the days of like FIFA 11, FIFA 12, FIFA 13. I don't know if you remember that era, but like um, there were like these uh, kickoff glitches you could exploit. You know, you pass it back, the chip with the L1 and triangle button over the top. And it was just like almost impossible to defend. Or sometimes you could like, I can't remember what FIFA was, FIFA 13 or maybe FIFA 14. You used to be able to like call for the guy that takes the kickoff to go all the way forward, pass it back, and then literally hammer down the square button for a log pass as hard as you can. And if you play on assisted or semi-assisted, it'll go like all the way to the man on the penalty area. It was like a, a ludicrous glitch you could exploit. But anyway, won the game, 3-1 there, 11 wins in all competitions. The question is, could we extend it? Following game, Spurs away in North London, and as Tony notches up his 20th of the season, going for back-to-back -back golden boots. I've got to be honest here, this is a really, really poor game. You very very little going on in this one whatsoever. It was kind of funny because you see here, Spurs didn't take a single shot in the game. We had three, but only the one noteworthy one, which was Tony's goal. Um, in the match highlights section, it was literally Tony goal, Harry Kane yellow card. <laughs> like, that was literally an awful game, but to be fair, not too unrealistic. Spurs this season in 10th place in the league in the save. They're really, really struggling. So unsurprisingly there, we were beating them back to back this year after beating them at City Ground. Winning run extended to 12 in a row. Question is, can we keep it going in the biggest game of this season in Europe? Yep, following game, third of four today, and this was it. First leg, Champions League, last 16, AC Milan. I noticed they've got a ton of British and Irish players here, man. Seriously, Tommy Conway, Cameron Archer. Uh, obviously, they've, they've lost to Maury to Manchester United in the save, but they've replaced it with a CB duo of Ben White and Max Kilman as well. AC Milan gives those British and Irish talents, but really good team, five-star team. Perhaps a lack of depth 
But, you know, for the most part, this is a really strong lineup. And they've kept hold of Mike and Rafael Leal and Sandro Tonali as well. So, heading into the first leg, tough, tough draw. First knockout round in the Champions League of the save. AC Milan away. Could we deliver and keep the winning run going? Well, if we're going to do so, we need to come from behind. I had the worst possible start in the game. Six minutes in, Evan Nilsson, who is so good in this game. If you've not tried Evan Nilsson, guys, give him a go. He is so, so good. For Milan right now in the save, he's got six in seven in this challenging competition. He he is fantastic in this game. He really is a lethal finisher and definitely worth a go. If you're looking for a career mode striker that isn't too expensive in season one, but has really good potential. Anyway, opens the scoring. Milan take the lead. I was thinking, right, okay. The moment ago, I was talking about kickoff goals and how frequent they are. Let's get one right here and get back on level terms. Unfortunately, Lincoln denied by Mike. Great save with a French stop, uh, shot stopper. And it's still 1-0. And other than that one chance, the first half an hour, I've got to be honest, man, I was really, really poor. Perhaps taken back by the occasion, nerves, complacency see after 12 wins in a row I don't know what it is but 15 minutes in tell you what I was let off the hook here gave away a free kick on the edge of my area and Akuna fires it off target still down by a goal really poor start and again in the first half an hour it was all AC Milan I was just absolutely woeful there was no defensive cohesion whatsoever my back line had been breached three separate times one resulted in a free kick and the other two resulted in goals sale makers the Belgian sent through one and one gets in behind Omar Richards and doubles Milan's lead I was all over the place in the first half to San Siro and as things stand looking at the tile be over in the first leg let alone the whole time. So I need to get back in the game. And if I can get back in the game right before half time, that will be a bonus. I've played really poorly in the first half. But if I get back in the game before the break, that will be big. And we would. Big decision pre-game. Who do I start up top? Taiwo or my main guy, Tony? Well, it's 20 league goals in a season for Ivan. But all his goals have come in the league. This guy is my European striker, Taiwo. He won the Europa League Golden Boot last year despite missing the final. And he gets us back in the game before the break. So it's 2-1. And after I got back in the game, momentum totally switched in the second half. I stemmed the flow. I stopped Milan getting those easy attacks. My defensive line was a lot more secure and cohesive as well. And 21 minutes after the restart, after Matty Cash has played in, he rolls it across the middle and who's there to complete the comeback? Two for Taiwo. Yeah, I did this guy a disservice at the start of the series where I said his nickname will be Tappy and Taiwo. Bro, are you serious? He's European Taiwo, mate. Won the Europa League Golden Boot last year and single-handedly completes the comeback. Yep, from 2-0 down to 2-2 and we end up tying the game to take back to the city ground. That is a let-off though, man. Seriously, absolute let-off there. I, I was poor. You would have seen by the stats there. I was really, really poor in that game. And the winning run ends after 12 in all competitions I knew that was gonna be a tough gainer against AC Milan don't get me wrong but I was I was really poor I think maybe complacency took over there again nerves possibly but I just I did not start that game off strongly once I got back in the game before the breakthrough tower I was like right I am not starting that second half off like I started the first half because AC Milan won't let me off the hook for a second time in a row so yeah huge huge battle back there from 2-0 down to 2-2 head back to the city ground tie in the balance and right now you've got to say it's very, very even indeed. Could go either way as both teams have progressed to quarterfinals. So final game of this episode, uh, final game here. West Ham at home, aiming to stay top of the Premier League. Once again, started really poorly in this game. Didn't get that many chances whatsoever. And six minutes after the restart, after a good stop by Dean, looking to get back to winning ways here. This man back in the starting 11 and this man back on the score sheet. Yep, Ivan, we love you, bro. Obviously, he'd be hurt not starting at the San Siro. But I said to him, mate, listen, you're going for that goal and move back to back in the Premier League. Let Taiwo have the European competitions. He always scores in Europe. He got a brace at the San Siro. You keep banging him in in the Premier League and try and keep us top. In front by a goal. The shocker with the opener. 21st of the season, but the lead did not last long. A few minutes later, West Ham back on level terms. Yep, brilliant finish into the bottom corner there as West Ham find their leveler. And with four minutes to go, a chance for them to inflict our first defeat on us after a fantastic unbeaten streak. Dean Henderson, my 
goodness. This guy is so, so good. He's bailed me out so many times and he does it once again. Brilliant, brilliant save. Then after Zambo's shot was blocked by Reese Oxford, I think it was. Henderson gets it back, quickly throws it out. And we go on the break. Stoppage time. Rodri holds it up. Finds Jaden Anthony who plays a 1-2 with him. Brown into Lovro. Back in the team after injury. Lovely ball through to Brown. In behind Sessignon. Rolls it across. And Curtis Jones gives us the winner with the final kick of the game. What a season for this guy. It is unbelievable. And don't you just love it when you're doing a CM and out of nowhere, one of your more average players, if you will, just goes absolute ham out of nowhere. No one could have predicted this. Curtis Jones this season has been one of my best players and he gets the game winner with the final kick of the game. It's 15th. Let me say that again. 15th Premier League goal of the season. He's got a few in Europe as well. And he's just got us the game winner here against Moyes' side. Massive, massive win there. Back to winning ways. That was huge. And we now take a six-point lead on Manchester United. Manchester City have totally fallen off it now. 11 points behind us in third. 11 games to go. What was a six-team title race has now became a two-horse race. Us versus the Red Devils, the champions. We're six points clear, but have got a game in hand. 11 games to go. They are not letting us get away. But that one is this episode of Kruma, guys. Big fan you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have done, please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.